All right. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to render to from texture. Um, most of the students that I've had in the past, they really get stuck in this this whole aspect that they want to use procedural textures. And the issue with using procedural textures is most game engines out there don't deal with it. Um, they're starting to, but to be honest with you, most of them won't deal with it, and you don't put procedural uh, textures on a character or anything else like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to take procedural uh, materials from one object and put it uh, to its own unwrapped texture. And all I've done here is created a box, no big deal. And I'm going to just make a standard material, take a material, and I'm going to just apply some sort of, um, I don't know, we'll use doesn't really matter what we'll use. We'll use a smoke texture and then I'm going to show that texture and apply it to the box. So now you've got this procedural material here and what you're doing now is you are adding a UV map on there like any other material you would have. So as you can see I've got this unwrap on here and it's just our base material, you know, you can you can assign anything you want as long as you put the unwrap in there. And the big thing is to remember that this is channel one. Okay. Um, I don't need my materials anymore. I'm just gonna zoom so you guys can see here. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add on a um, UV unwrap here. And you're gonna open the editor, of course, and like everything else, you're going to unwrap your uh, map so that it's flat according to where you need it something like so so now that, that's once that's there you're going to close this and since that's all unwrapped the big thing the next thing is we're going to do is we're going to change this to map channel 2 you are going to move when uh, your map channel when you get this warning um, what that does is takes the existing unwrap and moves it to the next level and say OK. And basically go down to rendering, render the texture, and you see the box is selected. We are not going to do projection mapping like you do for normals. You're going to use existing channel, you're going to save channel 2, and you're going to add on a diffuse map. Diffuse map right here. And that's going to give you this information. And then what you're going to do is we're just going to render this for for real fast things. And then you're going to hit render. Okay, it's going to bake the textures. I've already done this. And this that pops up is a render of all the information in there. Don't worry about that. What you're going to do is you're going to go to wherever you saved it. And I already saved it in game characters. And I'm just going to open it up to show you. And there is my render of my map in an image and that's basically how to do rendering uh, to a texture.